Before we jump into today's story, quick Marvel trivia question. In Iron Man 1, there was a deleted post credit scene where Nick Fury alludes to three certain Marvel characters that of course didn't make it into the final cut of the film. So, which three characters were alluded to all the way back when Iron Man 1 first released in this deleted scene? Let us know your guesses in the comments down below and stick to the end of the video for the answer to the question. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Agent Romanoff, you miss me? Oh yeah, Charles, we got ourselves an excellent fan. Captain. Guys. Captain, big fan, Spider-Man. Hey everyone. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies and there's been a ton of speculation and rumors when it comes down to the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home movie. And while the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home may reveal some different suits that we will be seeing Peter Parker in, there's been a ton of speculation as to what type of suits Peter Parker will be wearing in the film. But it looks like there may have been an early reveal coming from some toys that had promotional images leaked online, which have recently surfaced, which shows in depth how some of Tom Holland's Peter Parker may look in this upcoming movie. So as you can see from the images on the screen, it appears that this is the most in-depth look we've seen so far with what Peter Parker's new suit will be for this movie. As you can see, it at least to some extent in the film, we can expect to see black and gold suit, which really does look clean overall and a really unique design that still somewhat stays true to the original homecoming suit that we are used to. Though if the movie trailer was any indicator, it does look like we will be seeing Peter Parker in multiple different Spider-Man suits along the way too. Now, while we have possibly seen some things that have leaked so far about Spider-Man No Way Home that may or may not be true just yet, pretty confidently say that these toy leaks may actually be correct because if you look at the trailer, you do see a brief moment where Peter Parker is running through a cafeteria in a black and gold suit that does very much so resemble the exact same suit that we are seeing in these pictures. Now, interestingly enough though, with those set of pictures, there was one extra picture that was also revealed. And this one is slightly different from the first set of photos where this one looks like it has some sort of crossover attached to Doctor Strange, which obviously with the character being in the movie and having some involvement, this variation or this version of the suit with the blue crest on the middle likely may have some sort of role with the multiple universes that are being presented in this film. Maybe it's a device used by Peter Parker to traverse the dimensions or universes, or perhaps it's something used to capture things that are leaking out of other universes. But it is really cool to see this in close and get a better look at this character. Also, interestingly enough, some versions of the suit have red and black hands, while the other versions just stick with the full on black and gold aesthetic but it definitely is something very interesting to see. Now, the one other interesting thing is we do see in the trailer a regular Spider-Man suit at the beginning of the trailer, which resembles what he typically has used in the past, but we also do see the Iron Spider suit pop up as well at the end of the trailer. Now, we have known that Marvel and Sony aren't afraid to fake different suits for a trailer. There's already a bunch of fan theories suggesting that maybe they are faking the suits for the trailer, though it is still interesting to say nonetheless that we likely will see Peter Parker in multiple different suits when this movie does finally release. So we wanted to go ahead and show you these suits and turn it around to you guys. Out of the suits that we've seen Peter Parker wear in the past, which one is your favorite? Are you a fan of the black and gold suit? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. And if you participated in the Marvel question at the beginning, of the video, here is the deleted scene that never made it into the theatrical cut. As if gamma accidents, radioactive bug bites, and assorted mutants weren't enough. I have to deal with a spoiled brat who doesn't play well with others and wants to keep all his toys to himself. So if you guessed X-Men or Wolverine, The Incredible Hulk, and Spider-Man, you would be correct because those were the characters that Nick Fury were alluding to in that post credit scene. That's it for today. Make sure you check out our other videos we have on this channel going into a ton of leaks on possibilities for Spider-Man No Way Home. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.